So I encourage you to close your eyes, begin to get into a place of rest, relaxing, turn off any agenda you might have and just come to a place of rest. So start focusing on love. You're going to be living loved. He is going to express his love to you. Just start to focus your breathing and begin to slow it down. And as you slowly breathe in and slowly breathe out, you're drawing in that life, the love of God. You're breathing in his love. It's touching every particle of your being. As you breathe in, love is being absorbed into your whole being, spirit, soul, and body. So breathe. Focus your whole attention on breathing in that amazing unconditional love. Begin to center your whole thought, your whole desire on intimacy and relationship with love. Let God's love touch every part of your being. If you need physical healing, let the love of God, the energy of love, touch you in that place that you need it right now. If you need emotional healing, if you need mental healing, if you just need a touch of that love of God, focus it into that area that you need it right now. Be still so you can know the amazing love flowing through you, through your whole being. He's loving you, embracing you. Some of you need a hug. You need the Father's hug, his arms of love around you. You can rest in his arms of love. Some of you need to engage the throne of grace right now. You just need to sit on the Father's lap. Let him hug you, hug him, put your head on his chest and feel the comforting rhythm of his heartbeat. And while you're there, resting, surrender. Cast all your burdens onto him. Anything you're worried, concerned about, give it to him. Share your heart with him. Anything you may be even afraid of right now, give it to him. Because in this place of amazing, unconditional love, the Father desires to meet your need with his grace and his mercy. Some of you just need to stay in that place and let him comfort you. Let him encourage you. Let him strengthen you. Let him heal you. Let him make you whole. For others, you may feel you want to go further, you're in a safe place. Just begin to think that heaven is open, that you have access through Jesus to engage the Father, to engage his heart. Maybe right now he wants to take you into the eternal now, to take you into the place of non-linear reality within the perichoresis of relationship. If that's you, set the desires of your heart upon it and ask the Father to take you into that eternal now dimensional realm so you can just be. Don't try and figure it out. Don't try and ask questions. 
just embrace what you feel and what you experience. Some of you, I feel, need to engage the light of love, that place of heart to heart, face to face, where you can look into his eyes and know his love at a deeper level, where he will affirm you, affirm your identity, affirm the reality of who you really are, that he will speak to you right now some of the vast sum of his thoughts about you. Open your hearts and begin to listen to what he shares in that realm where you can experience that vast sum of thoughts, maybe one or two or more. Be open to listen and embrace. For some of you, you desire to see where you're seated in heavenly places. Maybe you desire to see that multi-dimensional perspective of who you are. If that's you, just ask the Father to open up that realm, whether you can see, feel, perceive. Maybe it's even beyond your capacity, but it will begin to expand your consciousness. Just open your heart and let him show you what you need to see, what you need to feel. In this moment, seated in heavenly places, Just ask, Father, you will expand our consciousness, expand our awareness, expand our capacity, that we will begin to realize that we are multidimensional beings, sons of the living God. Just rest in that place.
just stay in that place of rest whatever you're experiencing right now you know you can live loved free from guilt free from shame free from condemnation you can love living you can enjoy the joy of life you can live loving be merciful choosing to live forgive release and engage in loving others as you've been loved just rest in love in joy and peace you're an ambassador of unconditional love to a world desperately in need to know that they are accepted and loved we have a message an ambassadorship of reconciliation of restoration of love let's embrace that